We're here today in Runcorn near Liverpool at Evolution Studios for The Greatness Exchange. Aaron and Melinda, winners of the Greatness Exchange program here today at Evolution. Got to bring my wife with me, which is a bonus. The second part of the Greatness Exchange is going to visit Aston Martin at the Millbrook Proving Grounds. My parents have always said that playing video games is a waste of time, but now I'm like, take that, parents. <laughs> We gave the competition winners a full tour of the studio. We went to a real English pub, uh, some real English craft beers. <laughs> the fish and chips were pretty solid. We went from Neil Massam, who deals with building the vehicles inside the game, over to Dave Kirk, who showed them how we make the vehicle physics and dynamics play out. I showed them the demonstration of the kind of things that we do to set the cars up. We spent a number of years developing our physics engine for the vehicles. Over a thousand photos inside and out of each car, take them on the track, drive them to the inch of their life to make sure we've got every rave range, every sweep. We really want Drive Club to be something that anyone can pick up and play, but still have the depth in a more realistic simulation environment. We then introduced Aaron and Melinda to art director Alex Perkins, and he showed off the breathtaking locations in Drive Club. Canada, Chile, Scotland, Norway, and each of those locations has 11 tracks. It was important to us that we had like this kind of variety around the world. We also showed them a sneak peek as well as the weather and how we're doing that, how we're bringing that to Drive Club after release. Yeah, you can see the level of detail. Every stone knows its height on the tarmac surface. You can see the ripples falling from the raindrops and hitting the surface water and splashing in the puddles. And we're taking the two competition winners to get them in two of the Aston Martins, the Vanquish and the Vantage S. Aston Martin has been fantastic to work with. They've been really good giving us access to their cars, sending us the right CAD data, could be more appreciative of the fact we get to drive the cars. The Vantage S, once you put it into sport mode, it really takes off. They're both V12 cars, they're both incredibly quick, capable of more than 200 miles an hour. We got to go over 100 miles an hour without looking at the speedometer or our surroundings and not holding the wheel. They say, take your hands off the steering wheel, and at first I'm thinking. But then you actually just control the car in its lane on the banking. Just guiding it entirely with putting our throttle on and off. I was just nervous the whole time. And then, you know, you drive it a little bit, you get more comfortable, and then it's like, okay, then you start to have fun with it. The actual Aston Martin itself, just being there, was just exhilarating. And that's what we're trying to replicate in Drive Club. The sound, the look, the feel, experience all the same emotions you get in these cars. Not just with how beautiful they look, but then also with how authentic they feel when you're driving them and how realistic they sound as well. Uh, and then how much fun the game is to play when you're sending challenges and when you're part of a club. We want to build it with the community, listen to what people have to say. We want to build a really strong, connected community of millions of driving clubs. Um, they're pulling friends of, of people that are skilled racing gamers and then people that are just interested in fast cars. Since I'm not a gamer, I had no idea what went into games and the level of detail that they focus on with the cars and creating realistic tracks. Most people don't have any idea of what effort and the kind of complexity and the detail that goes into making these games. I was surprised to see how organized it was. It didn't look like it was cleaned up for us. It just looked like that's how it, everything flowed. It was pretty cool to see the inside like that. It's a fantastic opportunity to get the community into the studio to see all the processes that you know go into making such a big game.